Welcome back, my peeps. So, I have a quick little tutorial for you, but it's going to be so cute. And um, it's been requested a couple of times because I made a ghost last year that I put on a Chris Christmas, on a Halloween cake. And um, several people have been asking me how to make the little ghost. So, I'm going to show you how to make the ghost. I, well, I made the ghost after I saw somebody else make it. Her name is Juliana, and she's on Facebook, and the name of her page is Quiet Crafting Corner with Juliana. I hope I said that right. But anyways, I'm going to link I'm gonna link her group page down below. Juliana is awesome. She does, like, great work. She, she does fake bakes, but her fake bakes, I, they're over the top. Like, she's really awesome with her stuff. So you guys would love to follow her too because she does really great work. And um, I'm going to leave a link to her page so you can uh, check her out. But anyway, this is what I'm talking about. I made the, I made, well, I made a little ghost family now. You see them? I don't want to put them too close because the light is so bright that you probably can't see them that good. But anyways, I'm going to put it over here. Let me see something. Maybe you can see it better if I switch to this camera. You see how cute they are? A little ghost family. We made this pumpkin last year. We made this worm last year. So this year, we're going to make some ghosts. And the little candies that they are holding, well, not these lollipops. I, somebody gave me those lollipops. But the candy corn and the spider and this. Came from Play Code 3. And actually, the clay that I'm using today is from Play Code 3. So, I have a discount code down below. You can get you some if you want. Okay? So, I'm going to start this. I'm going to leave them right here. Maybe they want some chocolate. I'll leave them next to the chocolate. So, they, they can have some chocolate. Right? So, basically, what you need is just some white clay. You'll need some black paint if you want to make their little faces. And um, that's it. <laughs> and if you want to add some candy like I did or whatever, that's totally up to you, okay? So I'm going to make a big version of it just so you can see what I'm doing. But you can make them as big or as small as you desire, okay? But I'm going to make a big one. This is the basic, uh, what I'm saying, the basic, the basics to making this go. So now you're going to take a little bit to the side because these are going to be his arms or her arms, whatever you want. Because I don't know if you noticed, but in my little family, the mother has her little uh, makeup on. She got the lipstick. Let's see. You see her? She got the lipstick. And she got some eyelashes and a little bit of blush. Yes, she does. Because, you know, she got to be fancy. Anyway, you roll it into a ball, right? I'm so bad at rolling the clay into a ball. But anyway, you roll it into a ball. And you're going to you're gonna basically turn it into an egg shape. So this is how I make it into an egg shape. I take my hand and I start rolling a little bit on just one end. You see how it's already starting to form? So you just roll it a little bit until you get enough that you can grab. Right? Look. And then you could take that and you stretch it however long you want. So you can make the curl. You can make a twist. You can do whatever you want. Once you Now keep your shape of your little ghost. But this part, or you could even put do like this, come down here, if you're comfortable with that. But I prefer to do it this way, right? And then when you feel it's long enough, and you got it long enough, you just do this, okay? And if you think that that's too high, just bring it back down. Now you got to make sure you keep, the only thing about this, you got to keep make sure you keep the shape of your ghost. So look, let's do this side. You can uh let the loop you can loop it. You can do it if you want your ghost to look like that, you can look like that. 
or if you stretch it out a little bit more stretch it out you can just loop it like that okay and that's you know the ghost's body right then you take your other piece that you have here and you roll it and you're going to split it in half because you're going to make two arms so you're just going to roll the board you're going to do the same thing you did for the body you're going to do for the arm you're going to start you're going to take it and you're going to just roll it try not to make it too thin at the end it doesn't matter nobody's going to see that part and basically that's this is your arm okay now you want to make two okay so you can take it and you're just going to go like this and start rolling it okay i kind of made this one too long but y'all get what i'm trying to say right then you take it and you just stick it on stick it on i made this i made this one too big i don't want him to be <laughs> i don't want him to look abnormal even though he's a ghost but now nah, i made it too long so then you just stick it on there and there you go there you go you have your arms on your ghost now you can make his face now what you do is you let this dry before you do anything else and if you have like markings on it you could take some i'll show you right now just take a little bit of paint i mean paint water put it on your finger and just do this you could just blend those any uh, uh, finger marks, uh, fingertips that you have on there, just smooth it out. But now after this, don't mess with it. Put it down and, and uh, let it dry. But I want to show you one more thing that I did on my own. I didn't see anybody do this, but I'm sure it's been done. I'm not saying it hasn't been done. I'm just saying that I did it myself. He got feet. You see this? I put feet on this one. This is the easiest thing ever. Take your little piece of your clay. Roll it into a ball. Smash the ball. Wait, I didn't roll that into a good ball. And then put it down at the bottom. If you want it to look like he's sitting. Get your other ball. Flatten it down. I'm all the way over Flatten it down and you put it like that and look. Now he look like he's sitting. Right? I'm going to put him to the side so he can dry. Now make sure you flatten him down a little bit so you know he's sitting, he's standing, he's not wobbling, he's not going to fall over, okay? So let me show you this over here. Look, this is how he looks. Wait, I got the water bottle in the way. See? If he's sitting, if he's standing, you don't put the feet, <laughs> basically. So I made a couple over here. I made this one. This one is already dry. And I made a smaller one, and I didn't put anything on I didn't put any arms or legs or anything on him. I just made him plain. So I'm going to put this one to the side so it can dry. Where is my, 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 my? Oh, I just saw it. Oh, here you go. A Teflon sheet so he could dry right there. That's a big old mama jamma. But anyways, so you're just gonna get you some black paint and you're gonna you need to get one of these. Um oh god, I always forget the name of this. Ugh. Anyway, they sell this at Dollar Tree. It's uh uh Y'all come on now. Y'all know what I had to forget a word, right? I had to forget something. But anyways. So you just take this, right? Simple, simple, simple. You don't even have to take the paint and pour it into anything. Just take it out the cap. Dip your... <laughs> I don't know what this is, thing is called. Ugh, I hate when this happens. Anyway, you put one dot... You get another dot, and then if you want to make his mouth bigger, just, just take it and swirl it around. And there you go. And now you got your little ghost. You see the ghost? How cute. 
Now you can add candy to him. You could put him on a stick. You can do whatever you want with him. Her, whatever. Let's do another one. So they take it. Oh, man. I hate when I... Hold on, I gotta fix that. No. There you go. There go your ghost. And then let's do this last one right here. Ooh, uh, messed his eyes up. All right, that's all I did. Now you could uh put some lashes on it. You can do whatever you want. Oh, I almost got paint on my finger messing with that thing. So, um, I don't have a, a dry one because I wanted to show you how to make the face. But basically, what I did, like if you want to make a mama, I took a Q-tip and I dipped it in red paint and then I smeared most of the red paint off um, until there was hardly nothing left and then I rubbed it on her cheeks. Okay, and that's how I got her little red cheeks. And then, like I told you guys, the candy, these candies I got from Playco 3. These candies we made last year um, for the Halloween candy. I made like four, five, six different candies on that, on that tutorial. But look, this is so quick. Anybody can make it. And again, I want to thank Juliana for showing us how she made them last year. And I'll post that link like I told you guys. And y'all go check out her channel. Show her some love. She's really great at what she does. And, um, you know, go make you some. Go make your family or whatever. Boom. Oh, I don't want to get messed up because the paint, the paint is still wet. But look, aren't these like the cutest thing? This one, he's he has nothing. No legs, no arms. This one has arms. And then this one has arms and feet because he's sitting. He tired. He tired of trick-or-treating, so he's, like, sitting down. He's taking a seat. And then we got the whole family right there. And then we made this big old giant one over here. And, um, guys, go make you some. Make a bunch. Add them to your fake bakes. Add them to your treats. Do whatever. But I have something in mind that I'm going to make with this. I'll do it in another tutorial. So you got to stay tuned, okay? I'll, um, I'll talk to you real soon, okay? Stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and make some of these because they just too easy. You can't, I mean, you have to make some. They just too easy, too cute. Look at them. Look at how cute. I think he needs to come, come in the front. Look, he why Ooh, I messed it up. I should have just left it alone, right? But no. Anyway, guys. Talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.